25. The shape A has been drawn on the centimetre grid for you. So here's our shape A. Okay, and it's been drawn on a centimetre grid. So that means that this is one centimetre and that is one centimetre. So each square must be one centimetre squared, one times one. Okay, find the perimeter of the shape. The perimeter is the distance out around the shape. So we've got one centimetre, two centimetres, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. To avoid mistakes, I would just uh, just count the way I've done there. And make sure you write your unit, it's 16 centimetres, because we're told it's a centimetre grid. Now, next, the diagram shows the plan, uh, the front elevation and the side elevation of a 3D solid made from one centimetre all around. Find the volume of the 3D shape. Okay. The front elevation is what it looks like on front. So I'm just going to draw that here. It's always handy to draw it, something like that. Okay, now the side elevation is what you would see from, uh, like if you were looking at it from side on. And the plan is what you would see if you're looking at it from top. So it must be something, let's say, like that, because on top, that would just look like uh, a flat surface there. And from this view here, that would look uh So, the volume of a cylinder is given in the front of your formula booklet. So the volume of something like this is the area of that, uh, of the flat side, times by the length back. So the area of this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12 centimetres squared. So the volume is going to be 12 multiplied by how far back this is. We're looking on the side, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 back. It would be 4 back, so you multiply it by 4 and you get 48. And the unit of volume would be centimetres, uh, not centimetres, not centimetres squared, but centimetres cubed for that question. And we're done.